Hello everyone, good morning. It is 8.43 in the morning. I gotta get up because me and Reagan are going fishing with my grandpa this morning. She's my partner for bass fishing. Gonna do a little bass fishing. I wanna catch a fish because I was having a crisis. Yeah, but I was like, I just need to get the fish. These snap on for you. So you can change lures. Okay, baby blue tail. Now, do you fish with the underside with one of these? Yeah, yeah. Liv's about to um, put the boat in the water. Oh, we about to go for a room. Okay, um, hello everyone. I'm on the boat. I am about to crap my pants one at a time because my grandpa is making me back the boat into the water and I have never done that. <laughs> I only drive it a little bit too, so this could be fun. It's gonna be interesting. Um, put my trust in God here on this boat. I don't want to damage her. She's been in the family for a while. Well, I got. This might be my oh, final testament if I crash the boat. But, um, I feel like I'm in his way. Start it. All the way. So it might be part of my fault how shallow this is that you would have to reel faster once you get it in the water. For, push it forward. You gotta oh, be able to go far on this. Yeah, you have to go further. Did you just say okay? I said it's okay. Hello guys, it is Thursday and it is a very, very big day. And Joey is being slow. Dude, how many times have I said the keys are on the counter? Today is opening day, ladies and gents. My toast is melted and mushy. Why are you still standing there? Go left, right, out the door. Kids drive me crazy. Anyways, it's opening day. Baseball season is already back. I feel like that went by really fast, but now we're back, back into baseball. I like it here. I like this, this time. My mental health is calling for a little bit of baseball right now. Is there a problem? I'll miss you. I'll see you soon, okay? You'll be good. Just hurry, I repeat the carnival game starts in two minutes. Two minutes. Where's this? Let's put it there. Let's put it there. Don't step on it. Go. See, it, it always goes to AM. I don't know why. Yeah, it's gonna be freaking toasty. Push to AM. It says it's 11.20 a.m. Is this, I felt like this was the Cubs this is, though. This is Cubs. The Cubs. We got it. Save it. How do you do that? I don't know how to. Also we're going on a surprise stop. In the home of the brave. Play ball! It's not the most fantastic start, but... It's okay. Third 
63 runs last year and on Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you actually joking me right now? Oh wait, I want to go this way. The Chapman batting seventh in the lineup. 3-0 Toronto on four hits in the first inning. The Cardinals have Donovan, Newt Barr, and Goldsmith trying to answer against a tough right-hander, Alec Manoa. Hello. Um, it is now 9.47. It's quite a bit later. I'm slightly losing my voice. It's a little scratchy because I read 46 pages of a book for American Studies. And I have to read out loud or else I don't comprehend it. Like, I can't read in my head very well. So, I did that. And then, actually, by the time you guys are seeing this video, you will know that I have a podcast. Whoa. Why does my eyes look like that? I have a podcast. The High on Life podcast with mwah podcast um high on life podcast link is in the description always you can listen to it on spotify and you can listen listen to it on the high on life website but i also did just record a podcast episode because there's been it's been a rough week not necessarily with things towards me but just going on around me and it's really kind of weighed on me and i think there were a lot of lessons from the situations i've gone on that we could all learn from and so I just kind of needed to talk about it, and that's exactly what we did. Um, but I did just want to come on here and update you. Hold on. Okay, as I was saying. So tomorrow, to add on to the lovely week we're already having, tomorrow we are supposed to have really bad storms, like tornadoes. Like, it's supposed to be really nasty weather. Like, everyone is on high alert. We are in the red zone. Like, it is not supposed to be very nice out. Like, hail... Um, really bad winds. My bass fishing tournament for the weekend got cancelled. We pulled out because how bad the winds are going to be this weekend. Um, it's supposed to be nasty and the storm starts tonight. And it was just like pouring outside but it just stopped. We'll be filming the whole thing. Okay guys, so every night my routine is I take a shower, I come in my room, I get dressed, I lay in bed and I turn on. Hold on. I turn on Golden Girls and I set my TV timer for 30 minutes and I just drift off to sleep watching Golden Girls. Hello everyone, good morning, it's Friday. I'm in a little bit of a rush, not really, but kind of. If you remember from Swim Chasing North Live, I would always say, and this is a true statement, that on a stormy day and stormy weather, if it's a little bit cloudy but then the sun's out, that's not good because that means like the sun powers the storm. The sun makes it more strong, okay? So it's like pretty decently cloudy over there and the sun was just out over there. It's gone now, of course, the second I said that, it's gone. But it's been out like all morning. So I talked to you guys about the storm stuff, what's going on. It, I'm scared. A little storm chasing with live moment because it is 80 degrees, it is humid, and the sun has been out all day. The storm and stuff doesn't start until seven, but it has been like this all day. Not all day. Yes, it has been. This morning it was humid outside and the sun was out. It I wasn't as warm. I didn't feel any humidity. It was humid this morning. My hair can prove it. It was humid this morning. Guys, I just got to work. It's coming in. It's blowing in and the wind is picking up a lot. So, woohoo! We're closed early and we're like rapidly trying to get our closing done because the sky just got so dark and it's getting bad and now everything is directly heading towards us. Like, this is not a joke. Orange, those are severe thunderstorm warnings. And whenever you see the red, the orange, or the red, or the pink, no, chains, there's water coming in through the drive through windows. Tornado warnings. So, we well, have your a couple tornado warnings. Blew up I know. Severe thunderstorm warned area. It's a little Walls of central Illinois right now under. Are they still going up? I heard. I heard one tornado say, and we live right next to one, don't we? Yeah. National Weather Service tornado warning in this area until 6:45 p.m. Take shelter now in a basement and interior your room with the lowest. Well, we're going on a bridge right now, but it's fine. Um, the lowest floor of a sturdy building. If you are outdoors in a mobile home or in a vehicle, 
Move to the closest substantial center to protect yourself from flying debris. While we're saying YOLO. Holy it's actually starting to get really scary now. Um, yeah, that's bad. North Springfield, moving east at 50 miles per hour. That storm now located up around the Sherman area. Let's go back to our weather partners at News Channel 20. Thunderstorms are really. They need to spot me home. Gosh. It's fun and games talking about it, but now I'm like having anxiety. You're okay, Olivia. You're fine. But we can't it's see anything. Rain, honey. The tornado could be right the there, we'd have no clue. Issued a tornado warning for southwestern oh, Logan County, north yeah. central Sangamon County, until 6.45 p.m. At 6.19 p.m., a large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Williamsville. Oh good, so right over there, right across the bridge. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Right across the bridge from us. Five minutes. Expected Honey, hazards include a damaging tornado. This is a radar indicated threat. I will have a gun. So I can hop out. Honey, that is my drive. Save the button. Little homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. The tornado will be near Elkhart and Corland around 6.35 oh, yeah, p.m. Yeah. This I includes Interstate 55 between mile markers right, 103 and 121. Now I'm dizzy. Because I can't breathe. Alright. Alright okay, guys, I'm back. I literally just had a whole anxiety attack. We made it inside, but we're fine now. But literally, the interstate that you take to exit onto my house is where the tornadoes are right now. They are two minutes away from us. The sirens are going off again, and there's two confirmed tornadoes two minutes from us. Like, I can't, I wish I could, I wish I could see them. I'm glad I can't see them because <laughs> that would be so scary. But at the same time, I want to know what they look like right now. I want to know what's going on. And there was damage really close to my grandma's house because the tornado touched down in German. It's okay, Yoko Dokar. Oki and Max don't like the storms. Well, she's just a little bit unsure, but Maxie doesn't like it. I think that a tornado is two minutes away from me is a little scary. Yet I'm by a window. That's smart. But it was like when we were going over the overpass, it was windy. The police were stopping people because they'd be driving right into the tornado. And then. It was raining so hard, you couldn't see anything. It's like a tornado could literally be right in front of you and you'd have no idea. So I just kind of started freaking out. Good morning everyone, happy Saturday. It is windy outside, I'm in the shed right now because I'm getting everything out of my car. Just wait, you'll see. Of course now it's gonna, not gonna be out of that. It's like tornado windy out here. It's cold too. Hi yeah, guys. It's still a little big, I need to adjust it, but it's great. Okay, we're about to go to Dollar Tree because Reagan introduced me to this popcorn at her house and I really want to buy it. I also kind of want some apple juice. Yeah, we're finally calm. Um, so the tornado last night, now that I'm like, can actually breathe and I'm calmed about it. It's two minutes from our house. It was one mile from my grandma's house and it was scary. Like, storms normally don't really scare me, but it was just completely different because we were literally on the highway that the tornado was on like it could have been right in front of us rain wrapped and we would have no clue because it was raining down so hard you couldn't see anything so that's where i like started really freaking out but then once i was like once i'm in the comfort of my own home i'm fine but it's like storm chasers when they're going towards the storm they have someone they have a radar right in front of them they have someone telling them every move that's what a tornado makes we're going in blind so i'm just like horrified
the popcorn. Daddy, you know, I'm being funny. I'm out of breath. It's delicious, so. Do they have apple juice? Who are you? I want apple juice now. Hello. Um, I didn't formally end this video. Sorry, it was kind of scarce, kind of short this week. I mean, I don't really have anything to apologize for. But it was a busy week. I've had lots of stuff going on after school. And as of now, I can't tell you what that is because it has to do with something that has to stay secretive until further notice, but I am making a whole big video about it. Because it's a fun thing. It's a fun thing that I'm doing with my school. But, um, I can't give away any details of anything until later, so yes and it's just been a rough week but it's fine um thank you guys for watching make sure you check out my podcast the high on life podcast and the high on life website links are both down below along with happy earth i haven't mentioned them in a little bit but happy earth code live underscore hypo for 15 percent off it's always linked down below along with the two shirts i consistently wear the green one and then that sunrise one they're down below so um yeah i will see you guys next week goodbye